What's up, YouTube? So, um, I'm about to go get myself a haircut. Um, I really need it, right? It's been a minute, a couple weeks, actually, uh, since I had a haircut. So, this time, I'm going to go over to my barber shop. Um, not even a shop. I think it's like a little spot in his house that he uses um, since the quarantine started. Um, and that's going to be in Itagui. Guys, Itagui is another part of Medellin, like Envigado or Sabaneta. It's about 10 to 15 minutes from my place in Envigado. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take a cab over there. Um, hopefully, I don't get caught in this traffic because it looks pretty bad. Um, so, I'll uh, catch you guys when I'm in the taxi. Um, and then we'll be in Itagui after that. So, stay tuned, guys. It's an absolutely beautiful day. I might give you a view from out here real quick, actually. So check this out. Oh, see that plane right there? Going down the land over there in the airport. Really cool. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Right there. Like I said, they just go right over that little hill. And then the airport is right there over that hill. You can actually see a piece of it, the end of it, which is over here, to the right, right in the center of the screen. And then you can see that uh, nice glare light that's shining on like, looks like Loretta's area. That happens on the nice sunny days. Um, and then, yeah, we got a lot of sunshine today. It's beautiful out. So I'm gonna head out with no further ado. Hop in the cab. I'll uh, see you guys in a minute. to go to uh to like Cartagena or wherever I want to go uh, within the country of course so that's a big revelation that's a big development I'm excited about that I think I might take a trip um maybe to the beach or something um, early September as early as early September so you guys stay tuned about that I'll definitely keep you updated and you'll be seeing a lot of it. Um, for right now, once again, I'm going to see my barber. I'm about to get a haircut. Um, and for that, we're going to Itagui. So we're traveling like west, southwest. And I'm trying to keep my phone kind of inside the cab because you just don't want to stick your phone out the window out here. Now, um, I've never been robbed out here at all, um, except for like gringo prices, probably. <laughs> but you know, I don't, I don't want to um, ask for it either because it's like while it, it's a nice place, it's not um, like seen as a bad or a ghetto or whatever. Um, there's still, you know, it could things like that could happen in Itagui. Um, you don't have to be in the worst part of town um, for stuff like that to happen, but you know, in general for me, Colombia is very safe. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy seeing the streets. To me, it looks like um, it's a lot of traffic for one. Maybe that's because I think tomorrow is a lockdown day where no one's supposed to go outside. Um, if you know, if, if I'm wrong about that, then let me know, but I'm pretty sure it is for the next two weeks. Yeah, so 
I'm gonna be chilling. I might have some company. I'm pretty sure I'll have some company at some point. Um, I'll be chilling, trying to make videos, trying to, um, you know, think outside the box. As soon as you cross over the freeway, you're in Itaipu technically, and then it still took us like another 15 minutes to get to my barber. So I can tell Itaipu is pretty big. If I got anybody viewing from Itaipu or anybody that knows anybody viewing from Itaipu, definitely get in the comments. Um, I would love to hear about uh, who you know in Itaipu or where, what part of Itaipu you're from. As you can see, we got some locals out here hanging out. Um, yeah, it's a little, what is this, a chicken spot, Mama Peppa, I don't know. The bikes are in full effect today. My cab's got the full protection. I like when they have that. Uh, you can see the meter up there. We're at 7 mil. Streets are pretty small over here sometimes. It's a pretty residential part of town, actually. Lots of families. Uh, not so many tourists out here at all. It's rare, I think, to see tourists in Itagui. I don't think it's super rare. Like, there's probably some, but a lot less than like a Loreles or a Win or a uh, um, this is where the real Colombia is, you know. All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check back with you guys once we get uh, to my to the street where my barber is, and um, yeah, I'm excited to get this cut, man. I feel like I haven't had a cut in forever. You guys see me wolfing out, you know, like Wolverine. Uh, so it'll be exciting to have a new look. Sometimes I like going from like um, fully grown in beard to like fully, you know, shaved up. Um, just because the change is pretty interesting to see. Um, but yeah, I hope you all are enjoying these streets. You see a lot of the little bodega stores and whatnot are open. That's probably one of the best businesses because you're always serving. Like the people that live on top of you or the people that live very close. And that's a very reliable business right there. Uh, you know. So I'm sure, you know, some of these little stores are probably doing pretty well in the pandemic. Um, just because of their, um, how close they are to their customers, you know. At a time when people cannot travel. So yeah, the temperature out here, guys, is probably about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, if you're in the sun, it probably feels like 85. And if you're in the shade, it probably feels about 75. So um, the sun out here is super strong. That's one thing uh, about Columbia that I learned pretty quick. And it's even magnified when you go to the coast, man. The sun is just incredible. Uh, in Cartagena and places like that. So it looks like an apartment building there, but it's a lot of empty units from what I can see. Got like a mall here. But yeah, this isn't really my part of town, so I don't, I don't know exactly what everything is over here, but um, I've just been over here a handful of times. Um, so yeah. Guys, we're at eight, almost nine million pesos on the ride right now. So I'm expecting to pay between 15 and hopefully not, but maybe 20 at the max to get over here. It's funny, my driver's playing like poker on his phone while he drives. This must be like one of the 
central parts of town. It's a lot of people out. Very congested, small streets. for this local uh, fruit market. Or I bet it's super cheap. That's why they lined up like that. There's a butcher, probably super cheap, or maybe it's just because tomorrow it could start the lockdown again. I'm stocked up, so I'm not too worried about it. I haven't really been watching the news too much, but I did find out where you're gonna be having flights. So that's all I need to know. I'm ready to book some. All right, guys, I'm gonna shut the camera for a minute, save my battery a little bit, and um, check back with you when I get, get to the destination. Cool mountain shot right here. I'm not there yet. So much traffic. And we're almost at 17 mil. So, <laughs> um, the traffic is killing the meter, man. But uh, I've been in the car for almost an hour because of the traffic. I should have known not to come around five. It's always bad, no matter where. Uh, once you get to the smaller streets, no matter where in the city, it's going to be bad around this time. But I want you guys to check out the mountains back here. Uh, the streets, you know. It's beautiful. It's a great place to live. It's like you know it's right here. No cambio? no cambio? Oh, no. oh, no. so got a yeah, make it happen. I'll check back with you guys. I'm about to deal with this. So I got that knocked out. Um, I'm 
um, with the cut and everything. Now we're in the bar so we're about to get this cut taken care of. Um, this my boy shot. And then I'll check back with you guys after this cut. Right here. Yeah, I gotta get that all taken out. Hello, guys, total. All right, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, perfect, man. So this is my voice spot, Barber Monster, the best oh, in the city. Hello. Of course. So we're about to get this clip, and uh, be back later, man. Thank you for watching. No fake. So what's up guys, I just got my cut from uh, Barber Monster, he just hooked me up, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, going with me for my cut today in Itagui, so um, check back with me, definitely like, subscribe, and um, comment on the channel, on the videos, let's get it popping. Once again, my barber is Barber Monster. I'm gonna show y'all him so y'all can check him out. Wow. I'm gonna put his Instagram in the description, guys. Definitely check him out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.